Hello, everybody, and this is Julie D from NordoniaHills.News, and welcome to Jabbering with Julie. I think I wore this last week, but, you know, I had to do it again, because if you celebrate Christmas, this is my last chance to say Merry Christmas, because, you know, the show is generally recorded on Sunday, and if I do it next Sunday, it'll be, you know, Christmas will be, like, over so, so, and I'm going to do this bell the whole time. No. Yeah. No. Put the bell. Oh, wait. Okay. Sorry about that. <sighs> there we go. But you know what? I'll probably ring in the new year. So watch out for that. I'm a little wired up. I had lots of coffee. And we're putting the newspaper together today. It's uh. And it's weird because the Browns didn't play, right? They were supposed to play Saturday and now they're playing on Monday. And you're probably watching this on Wednesday and you're like, I already know how it, how it came out. And you probably, if I ask you right now, like who won, you probably wouldn't tell me. So anyways, enough of that. But either way, no matter what happens, go Browns. You're probably wondering what this is behind me. Well, I'm not going to tell you right away. You have to watch later in the show. Um, you might be surprised. It might be something new, maybe. Anyways, <clears throat> you have to say a little bit later in the show. So what else do I have for you today? So what I thought I would talk about is some of the new, um, some of the new, you know, construction, new businesses, some of the new stuff that happened in 2021. We are um, about ready to get rid of um, 2021. So um, in Norfolk Village, we welcomed in Animal Jungle Pet Shop. Um, oh my gosh, the, the animals in there and the staff in there, they definitely know what they're talking about. Uh, you may recall, this was actually not too long ago, Chick-fil-A underwent a major renovation and um, can't wait to see what that looks like inside. And let's see what other construction projects. Oh, any guesses what this is? Do you guys remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Even if you go, didn't go there, you might recognize the building as the old Steak and Shake. And now it is Raising Canes. Yay. So the Canes, Caniacs or whatever they're called, are very happy. That's been up and running quite a while now. Here was another project this year that was completed. Duncan, a Norfield um, Center Duncan. This is real close to Giant Eagle. And people said, we don't need another Duncan. There's one right down the street. But you know, Duncan did their research and people generally, if they wanna get their coffee in the morning, will you know, want to turn right to go in and then right out. And obviously the people on the west side of town, if they're going to the Duncan in Macedonia, they would have to take a left. So they thought, or they planned that more people would go to this Duncan um, that normally can't go to the other one or normally don't go to the other one. So it seems to me after talking with um, the assistant manager that both Duncans are doing very well. Obviously they're having problems with um, workers. So their lobbies have been closed, which makes their drive-throughs really long. But um, both businesses are, you know, both locations are doing very well. So um, for all the people that say, that's crazy, you know what? And as far as I know, there hasn't been any accidents in that area. So people have figured out how to get in and out, which is, is very nice to see. Uh, let's see what other projects happened this year. You know, once again, I have like so many pictures. Um, well, okay, this one just popped up. <laughs> this is from this weekend. Uh, Norfolk Village had their Santa drive-through. And here was the crew for that. And we thank them for that. I'm sure the, the children in the area loved that. You know, and as we go through times here, um, sometimes we have to do things differently than we did before. Um, well, this is a new business. Um, it's just popped up here. So we should say hello again to the uh, Mocha coffee shop. If you don't know about them, they are in Macedonia near the corner of 82 and Freeway and they're in between Stuff and Puff and um, 
<sighs> hair salon. <laughs> I could never remember the name of it. Um, I do that sometimes. Oh, and another thing we had to deal with this year that is finally complete, but Highland, Highland Road was closed for 120 days, which seemed like 1,020 days. It was, you don't realize how much you cut through there to get from one side of the town to the other for many things. So everybody was dancing a jig of joy safely in their homes, not in the middle of the street because that'd be very dangerous, but hilarious. If somebody could capture that for me, that'd be great. Um, we also found out this year that Panda Express will be going in next year. So there's quite a few things that should be going in in 2022, you know, if things go according to plan. Now you're going to remind me, I know what you're thinking, because I'm like in your mind, you're like, yes, Julie, but you said we were going to get five guys, and you said we we're going to get Aladdin's, we we're going to get McAllister's Deli, and that was all before COVID. In fact, those got approved right before COVID. Um, so from what I understand, uh, Five Guys and um, Aladdin's is still under discussion. Um, no word exactly on McAllister's Deli. Don't have dates on anything, but hopefully we'll hear more in 2022. Um, the other thing that we talked about this year that's going to be coming soon is a Wayback Burger right here, right next to at and and this is in the first watch plaza. Yes, I know the parking lot's crazy, but you know, it's not my decision or your decision if a business goes in somewhere. Um, and in this case, um, AT&T split their spot, their footprint by half. So it's nice, another business can come into town. And you know, I'm sure you can door dash and you know, um, you know, they could probably deliver to you so you don't have to worry about parking. And um, speaking of reducing the Footprint, um, Burlington is, uh, as I announced on a previous show, taking their large area and chopping it up. And they're going to be locating like one fourth of it. And then the other three spots will be for um, three new tenants. So we will have three new businesses moving to Macedonia. I am sure that that is going to fill up fast because the spots around town are going for sure. In fact, I don't think Macedonia has many spots, if any, left. And, you know, Northfield Village got a lot of um, businesses, too, this year. Uh, there was, um, you know, just lots of stuff. You know what? If you want to know the full list, it's actually in the newspaper that we're putting together right now. And you can pick up um, at lots of different locations around town starting on Tuesday, weather permitting and the stars aligning. We usually start delivering them Tuesday and then um, Wednesday as well. But you know, if it's pouring rain, cats and dogs, whatever, then um, you know we just try to get them out as soon as possible. All right, so let's talk about you know because you know I know you're super busy right now, and you don't want me to like jabber on forever. I did want to remind you that Will's Jewelers is. Um, offering a free gift with a purchase of $150 and it expires on Christmas Eve. And you can also get 20% off all the in-stock merchandise. So how quick, you know, trying to figure out if I order online, will I get it in time? Just like go down, drive to the store and get it yourself, you know, that way. And I don't know why I'm starting to talk like I'm from Canada. I really don't understand that. Um, <laughs> and of course, you know, Will's Jewelers is located in Sagamore Hills along with Blossom and Bows. Um, so they have wonderful gifts. If you're looking for that special someone, they have handmade cards, you know, jewelry, purses, clothing, ornaments. Um, I'm not sure if they're still doing the craft classes at this time of the year. Um, you can purchase an ornament for local charities. They're located on 357 West Aurora Road, Suite C. Um, the, in the building where Evolution Salon is, they're on the side. Um, they also have locally made chocolates, jams, jellies. I'm, I'm telling you, I have a couple items like a purse and a blouse that I got there. And every time I wear the blouse and, you know, I can't tell you how many times the purse people have come in and definitely unique stuff. And, you know, I just want to remind you to shop local. 
All right. And again, I know you're busy and you want to get through this. I will. Um, okay. I'll spill the beans. All right. Okay. So this is a proposed new business that I'm going to tell you right now. It's coming to the Master New Planning Commission meeting December 20th, which, you know, I'm recording this on the 19th. So it's tomorrow, tomorrow night. Um, and you're like, where, where are you, Julie? Where are you? I am at the corner of, let's see, this is Route 8. And then down here is Highland. And this is KFC. Get a little chicken. <laughs> this is an express, it's called express car wash. These are the plans for express car wash. And then the hotel's right there. So if you can get your bearings. I do have a picture a rendering the in you know the architectural rendering um so just to give you a little hint now again this is proposed it hasn't even hit the um the meeting yet the uh planning commission meeting yet so who knows maybe they'll maybe they say can't do it um they really can't stop a business as long as everything you know, works. I mean, what are they going to do with the water? I mean, there's, you know, a lot of questions. There's going to be some water. We know that. Um, so, you know, if they check all the boxes, there's no reason why they can't um, let them come into town. I know we have other car washes, um, like Clean Land Car Wash. I don't know what type it's going to be. Um, you can always Google it and see what kind of um, facilities they have if you're interested but anyways you know once again I just try to get you the information that I have sometimes things happen and sometimes they don't happen I don't know <laughs> uh, anyways um, don't forget to message me if you're interested in social media classes for either somebody that works on your team or yourself um, small businesses also you know uh, medium-sized businesses sometimes need some assistance with their social media marketing and if you can do it inside in-house that's what I always recommend um but anyways I well for those of you that celebrate Christmas I would like to say Merry Christmas um if you celebrate holidays happy holidays and I will see you right after Christmas bye everybody <laughs>